Uh, welcome or welcome back on C squared. In this video, okay, we're going to talk about composition of function. This is another operation of function. It's uh, different. We do not uh, do composition of real numbers like uh, adding and subtracting and multiplying. We, this is specific to function, composition of function. So this one means f combined with g, a composition of the function f and g of negative 2. This means f of g of negative 2. So I will suggest you to write this step always. Okay, it has very helpful. So here we're going to have f of, and we have to evaluate the function g with negative 2. Okay, that means negative 2 squared, which is 4, minus 1, 3. So this becomes f of 3, right? So again, one more time, we have to do the g of negative 2. And that is three. Okay. And now we have to evaluate the function f at three. So that will be three times three plus two. Right? That would be nine plus two, eleven. This is the answer. Go ahead then, stop it okay, and try to do f of g of three. If you end up with 26, then wonderful job. F combined of G of 3 is 26. Okay. Um, let's take a look to this type of problem where we have uh, a composition function also, but now we're looking for the general form. So, yes, F of G of X, right? So that means F of g of x, like I said, f combined with g means f of g of x. So we have here f of 3x plus 2. Okay, so we replace the g function with what is given to us. And now, here, very important, take that g function, right, this 3x plus 2, and go and replace it in the f function for x. So what we have here, we have that 2 times 3x plus 2, right? So this is the new x for the f function minus 1. So we just have to do some simplification here. And that will be what? 6x plus 4 minus 1. That will be 6x plus 3. Yes, f combined of g is 6x plus 3. Okay? So now we're going to do g combined with f. Okay, so this is f combined with g of x. Let's have it here for uh, the end of the problem. Here we have g combined with f. g combined with f of x. Okay, this one will be g of f of x. Okay, so that will be g of 2x minus 1. So again, yes, instead of this f of x, we're going to use the given function. And now, similar to the other example, we're going to take this new x and we're going to go in the g function, right? Because it's a g function here. So we're going to have 3 times the new x, 2x minus 1, plus 2. So if we simplify here, we get 6x minus 3 plus 2, that will be 6x minus 1. This is g combined with f of x. And what do you notice here? Yeah. These two guys are different. Most of the time, f combined with g will be different than g combined with f. Go ahead and try number 11 and 12.
If you have these two answer, then you did a wonderful job. You notice also in this example, f combined of g of x is different than g combined of f of x. Okay, similar story we can do for a linear and a quadratic. On the other examples, they were both linear. So let's see here, f combined of g of x will be f of g of x. Which means f of x squared minus 1. Again, g of x is replaced with x squared minus 1. And in this case, we have 2 times x squared minus 1, well, the new x, minus 3. So the final, not the final, let's simplify a little bit here, uh, will be 2x squared minus 2 minus 3, right? And f combined of g of x will be 2x squared minus 5. Okay, the same we're going to do for g combined of x. g combined of x, of x is going to be g of f of x. It's going to be g of 2x minus 3, right? And you place the f function of 2x minus 3. So in this case, we have 2x minus 3 square right this is my new x in the g function minus one and here if, if you know the uh, shortcut uh, a minus b squared that will be a square right or x square uh, minus 2ab 2 times 2 4 times 2 12 12 x uh, plus 9 minus 1 uh, so the final form of g combined over f of x will be 4x squared minus 12x plus 8. Again, you can see how different the combination is. So the order is very important. F combined of G is so different than G combined of F. Go ahead and try number 15 and 16. So if you end up with this to answer for uh, number 15 and 16, you did a wonderful job. Uh, about the domain of this composition, you need to be careful. Uh, the, very important is to look to always to the, the uh, input of the first function, right? input of the first function, for example, here you look with g of x. What is the input for that uh, function? All real number, right? And uh, then transfer that to your f function, okay? So if we have a restriction on one of the function, if your function is a radical, uh, rational uh, function, you need to be careful. If you enjoyed this video, click, don't forget to click the like button down, right, and come back and see square for more math video clips.